and welcome. I'm Lori Johnson, marketing for Leonardo's Children's Museum. Today I'm here with Executive Director Tracy Biddle. Welcome. Thank you. There's just always a lot to do at Leonardo's, um, and especially now that it's holiday time, it's just so much more to love at Leonardo's. Um, for example, we have a fun event coming up. It's a little bit at the end of the month, but it is mm -hmm. called Noon Year's Eve. Yes, yes. Why don't you describe that? We're all us? really excited about Christmas, but we want to remind people that um, there is going to be the day after Christmas, yes. and then we'll turn around and go, oh my, there's a holiday, and another holiday in a week. Yes. And um, so we really want to get the word out that we have a fantastic family focused time that you can do a New Year's Eve celebration. And there really isn't any place else where families can celebrate. We don't have to worry about staying up late because it counts down till noon, right? Right. right. 12 noon instead of 12 midnight, which if you have um, children, that's mm -hmm. a, night, a better time of the day. Right. Actually, it's a great time of the day for me as well, since yes. I don't normally see midnight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and New Year's, New Year's Eve is not often thought of as a family type mm -hmm. of holiday. It's kind of an adult. Adults go out and do adult things. But we're excited to offer something where from 10 a.m. to noon, we are going to have a special party in the annex at um, Leonardo's and um we're going to mimic what goes on, what we see in the media. You know, we're right. going to do party hats. We're going to dance with dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, we're going to do. That's going to be fun. Yes, yes. Um, there'll be a meal included for awesome. with admission. There will be crafts to do, um, and just have a really good party. And then that party, as it winds down at twelve noon, we will count down, and then there will be hundreds and hundreds of balloons floating from the ceiling, and we're going to pop bubble pop and. And just make all the noise and welcome 2019 like we see the adults do sometimes in the media. I think that's awesome. This is my first year, my first time, and I've, I've heard tales of how much fun this is. It's one of my favorites. And it's for all ages, right? So yes. say you have some tweens or something oh, like yeah. that. It's 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 a fun party. It's mm -hmm. just family friendly. Intergenerational. You know, yeah, what grandma, a time grandpa, when, come and play. Right. Bring the little ones and um, feel like you've got your celebration done a little earlier in the day. Right, right. So. And and after the, the countdown and the big balloon and the fireworks and the dino dance party and the the craft, mm -hmm. you still can enjoy a rest of, the whole rest of the exactly. afternoon. Exactly. Wear and those children out. <laughs> <laughs> so if the adults want to have something a little different at night, then their right. kids have had a full day. Well, the other thing that Leonardo's always offers is um, high quality education and activity ba right. or educational activities. Right. Um, so the kids' minds can be stimulated. They will be well into the winter break by then. Right. Um, you never know. In Oklahoma, we may be able to open AQ as long right. as the temperature is 40 degrees and above. And that's a great time for kids to blow off steam and energy. <laughs> and kids will be on, on Christmas break. So, sure. you know, that's a great day. Mm -hmm. We probably should remind people there is um, some, we're open uh, there for the families, yes. but on Christmas Eve, the 24th of December and the 25th, we will be closed for those two days, Right. but then we'll be opened the whole rest of the break. Yes, Mondays included, weekdays are, are 10 to 5, and then Sundays are 1 to 5, right. um, just like we usually are. And if you know, you're know you looking at something fun and you can't make the party, we have special uh, boosted crafts in the tinkering area. Uh, and, yes. Right? The tinkering area looks so fun. <laughs> Our uh, staff has just had a ball coming up with all kinds of creative things to make and do. You can make gifts and take them home. Um, there are people walking out with some nice artwork right now. Right. And, uh, you know, the ever popular photo op. We have mm -hmm. beautiful decorations across all over the museum. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I, just as we were coming over here to tape this, I saw a family, uh, grandma and her grandchildren in front of the Christmas tree. Yes. What a nice memory. Yes. What yes. a nice memory. So remember those now. It, say you haven't bought your, your Christmas gifts yet. Yeah. We can help you out, can we not? I know a few people who are kind of <laughs> slow shoppers. Right. And um, we're getting down to the last minute before Christmas. Right. Never fear, though. Leonardo's has a very nice um, gift shop where there's all kinds of things that you can buy for children. A lot of educational focused, um, a few things that are what we have in the museum. Mm -hmm. um, we even have 
have a new t-shirt to feature. Oh, would you like to show it off? Show that? Yeah, I think you should. It's pretty, yeah. pretty nice. It's soft. This is a newly designed um, t-shirt for Leonardo's. Just, it's really soft. And yes, it's a high quality tee. I'm actually buying a few for Christmas gifts myself. Uh, they, make great, they make great gifts too. Mm -hmm. If you support Leonardo's, it, mm -hmm. it's great to, you know, show your pride and mm -hmm. show all the Oops, that's wonderful, you know, people and your relatives, mm -hmm. you know, where you support. So. Well, I kind of, I brought that up so that we could um, also talk about there's other ways to get the t-shirt yeah. because we have an end of year giving program going right. on um, and this year we did choose to um, give give back for some of the mm -hmm. um, gifts that we have for instance um, uh, one of the lower end um, range gifts that we have, any bit helps Leonardo's, and it is a tax deductible donation. But um, we'd like to thank people with a smaller sticker. Mm -hmm. As um, you go up from there, if it's in the right zone or mm -hmm. area of giving, we're going to give away a couple of free passes. Oh, awesome! So those are always That's handy a nice to have. Little gift too. Yes, if yeah. you have, um, yes, very nice. Right. And if you have visitors come into town, yes. Um, another level of giving is a die cut sticker with the Leonardo's. These just came in, and. I'm those are, big those fan are really of cute. Them. Uh, yeah. I, definitely a good spot for a computer or, or any place. These are going in the gift shop as well. Oh. I decided so today. So people can come get those yes, as well. Yes, can come Ooh. buy these as well. And then we also have the t-shirt. And for some of our um, bigger donors, we're going to be um, discussing a type of reception mm -hmm. um, based on... Um, what type of donors we get, and we're going to have a some type of a local uh, celebrity in and That's have awesome. some fun and show our appreciation. You know, it's it's the time of the year. Uh, it's the end of the year. It, all nonprofits are looking at their budget, and um, the entry admission doesn't cover all the costs. No. And we are an educational nonprofit, and mm -hmm. so it's important to to have Leonardo's there because of the STEM and the STEAM opportunities that children have, the uh, the impacts on family, mm -hmm. and just the joy of learning. Yes. I always like to remind people that science, technology, engineering, and math, mm -hmm. science, technology, engineering, arts, math, right. um, and Leonardo's is about arts and sciences. Right. So um, I feel like Helen Garriott was thinking about STEM and STEAM before the rest of the world was, <laughs> she was thinking the about curve. STEM and STEAM. <laughs> yes. And, so. um, you know, uh, Dr. Garriott being a NASA mm -hmm. astronaut and mm -hmm. um, but it, it's just a you know if you can even a small gift yes. helps us out and this is yes. a great time where you can look and say hey do I have a little extra can I share with the community right 20 some years ago Enid invested in Leonardo's um, and have continued to invest in Leonardo's to um, make it what it is today and we have a beautiful facility now um, however anybody that gave to capital uh, capital campaign. Yes. That donation was earmarked for bricks and mortar and that was um, very this specific. building. Yes. It does not help with operations and such. Right. So this this particular campaign helps with operations. And as you can imagine, when you've more than doubled your square footage, your electricity bill goes up, your water bill goes up, your cleaning bill goes up. So um, I really, really appreciate people thinking about that at the end of the year. Yeah, if you've been impacted or know somebody's impacted, please give it an opportunity to to give with your heart and see yes. what you can do. Yes, yes. So that's important. We also have, uh, there's just so much going on. Adventure Quest is, as you mentioned, a really big thing, and it could be open weather depending. And mm -hmm. we've had beautiful weather, mm -hmm. so really good possibilities. Mm -hmm. But we have a new, fun, kind of exciting project yes. that's basically all volunteer driven. Mm -hmm. It's it's very, what you say, grassroots. <laughs> oh, that's good. Literally and figuratively, yeah. Do you, want to, do you want to describe this new project at Adventure Quest? Well, you're the expert in this, but I will, I will intro. Um, we are looking at attracting and participating in some programs in our area to attract butterflies. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have cultivated an area and seeded an area and cleaned up some others to attract butterflies. We're calling it a pollinator garden. Right. Um, you're the expert though. Well, How else um, would you describe it? Butterflies are, are they're losing habitat and Oklahoma is right in the best place for them to migrate and they, they need to migrate right through our state mm -hmm. and especially you know in an urban setting like we are we got this wonderful little place for monarchs to come and mm -hmm. take a little sip on their way down south mm -hmm. and 
It's important, and we were always about education. Mm -hmm. So this is something, you know, as the spring, when it looks beautiful, we'll probably have experts We've done out. a lot of experiments yeah. with hatching, you know, growing from right. a caterpillar and the phases of development and right. releasing an AQ. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like this is a step further. It is. Um, even more in-depth ed education and in science. And um, it seems like fun, but it, they're actually teaching science as well. So. And there was a lot of volunteers. I want to thank anybody who came out and helped or mm -hmm. did anything to make this project. And it's going to be an ongoing project. As, yes. As Stay th tuned for more information. Yes, <laughs> and things coming out. But it's it's going to be a really neat project, and we're really excited, grateful for the volunteers, too. Yes, yes, so, yeah. very much. Well, you know, um, we have the new feature. We have that. Uh, but, you know, there's also, I almost forgot to mention, it's the end of the year, but starting of new educational programs as yes. well. Yes. So if, you know, it's winter and you're thinking, oh, what do we do with the children? Yes. We do have a we lot have of lots of good afternoon out. activities, yes. um, after school activities. Um, you know, we, we do science for sure. Mm -hmm. OG&E OG &E with and their generous Club. sponsorship. The Junior Welfare League sponsors an amazing after school program where we're teaching sewing and fashion design, That's which is exciting. a new one. We are really jumping into pottery. Um, if you have any interest in pottery and ceramics, you need to be communicating with our education department. And this is several a classes. Element, an elementary uh, after school program. We have one of snacks. those, and then we, uh, yes, and if it's ever yeah. after school, we feed them with healthy right, snacks. Right. <laughs> but we also are trying get, get, getting ready to do some adult programs. We're going to do some painting programs and oh, um, some ceramic boats. So, yeah, we're really starting to take off um, in education. Well, we have that beautiful facility, the Education Annex, mm -hmm. and, you know, we're kind of, you know, into it. Now we can do it. We have the, we have mm -hmm. the Oklahoma State Certified Teachers as well for Absolutely. the children and that's such. That's all that we hire, and um, that's who teaches our classes. And, you know, if, if you're thinking, hey, I want to find out more information, the website is the best. Yes. Go on leonardos.org, yes. and it has a list of the programs. It has the forms you can fill out, everything mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have Facebook. a question, you could submit from there. Yeah. You can always call 233-ARTS, 580-233-ARTS to ask questions as well. And then social media is always in the know. <laughs> and, and we have, you know, just check that for future reference if there are any problems. But mm -hmm. um, So remember that we are open mm -hmm. for your children to come and play and yes. relatives. It is the season. We are closed two days, but everything else, we're pretty much open. Come and, pl you know, the, the museum is beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's lots of fun things. The this gift is shops. what we're here for when you have a break and you have time for family time. <clears throat> family time, please come spend it at Leonardo's. Well, thank you. This has been another edition of Community Talk. I'm Lori Johnson. This is Tracy Biddle. Have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Leslie Newell with Junior Welfare League. Come shop at Return Engagement at 123 North Grand in downtown Enid and watch for us on Community Talk.